Oh, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Mike, thank you very much. Channel 3 is your back to school authority each and every day. We are checking in with districts all over the state and we're heading to Griswold right now where the new school year starts next Monday. Boy, time flies, doesn't it? Channel 3's Wendell Edwards spoke with Superintendent Sean McKenna. Now he says social and emotional learning will be just as important as academics this year. That, that is our top goal. We, we're, we're having our Griswold Forward plan is an advancement plan. That is our number one goal, social and emotional well-being. Um, we hired three social and emotional interventionists at each of our buildings to support our teachers, our school psychologists, and our social workers. Um, and we, our teachers in the past couple of days, has, they've been spending time in professional learning modules on how we can be better at the delivery of social and emotional needs. We have also partnered with Dr. Ravit Stein and Aaron Dunn from EastCon. They're PhDs who are well-trained uh, in this field, and they will be in district working with us all school year. Uh, they ran a, a couple of workshops this summer with our faculty, our staff, and our board of ed. So this is, I, I appreciate you emphasizing that, Wendell. It is a, a, a serious um, a topic, and we're not just speaking it, we're implementing it. What is the goal as we start this new year? The goal is to maintain five days a week as much as possible um, to keep everybody safe. And, you know, we've been, we've had, and it's to listen to one another. I've, I had conversations yesterday, Wendell, with parents that um, don't like masks. Um, I had conversations with parents who are sick right now and have a loved one in the hospital. I had conversations with parents that were praying that we did have a remote option. So the goal is to keep the kids in five days a week um, to listen to one another. And I would just urge that, you know, the, as you know, and as everybody knows, the, the virus doesn't care what you think individually. It doesn't. But we do have to listen to one another and stay together and be respectful about our dialogues. Thankfully, and I'm very grateful, that has happened in Griswold, even though parents might not agree with masking or they want remote learning. Um, we got to keep it respectful.